Well, hello, fellow inventor. So you want to patent your inventive idea. Guess what? The United States Patent and Trademark Office has something called a provisional patent application. The provisional patent application, like the 1040EZ for the tax uh, season, is a very easy to fill out. It's designed that you do not need an attorney for it, just like the 1040EZ is designed that you do not need an attorney. So the Con U.S. Congress is what pushed the Patent Office to make the filing process for getting a patent very easy. So the trick is you don't need my course and you don't certainly don't need to pay uh, any lawyer to definitely don't need to pay any lawyer to file a provisional patent application. All you really need is some guidance. You can get all the guidance you need by studying the United States Patent and Trademark Office. The only problem is the United States Patent and Trademark Office is extremely complicated to figure out, just like the 1040EZ is extremely complicated to figure out. So given that the Patent and Trademark Office has not made the uh, method for filing your own provisional patent very easy, I made a, a video course um, that shows exactly what to do with an example of a, of a provisional patent with drawings and exactly how to file it, the telephone numbers, how to get in touch with the Patent and Trademark Office, and, and the exact language that the Patent and Trademark Office does not share with you because they do not want to give you legal advice. So send your name here, an email here, if you don't want to buy it. The course costs $45 if you buy it with Google Checkout. And if, and if you buy it with another uh, website I can give you with takes credit cards, it's $2 more. But um, double click on this if you're in YouTube. And at the bottom where it says More Info, uh, you, can see, um, you can see how to get a hold of this website. What you do once you're in, in YouTube is you click this little chevron here and you click this and it'll bring you to the website. So again, let me make it really clear. You do not need to spend money or send your inventive idea to fancy companies that charge you $500 to file a provisional patent application. A provisional patent application is extremely easy to do. Uh, I urge you to either uh, refer to the USPTO.gov, which will probably take you about 15 hours to figure it out, or you can file a provisional patent using my video course probably within two hours if you're driven. The cost to the United States, what you pay the the patent office is $110 as of 2011, and um, you just again, you don't need an attorney. Now, some of the people who got a provisional patent, uh, you know Google's uh, product called Street View. Two students from Caltech thought it'd be a great idea, said, hey, let's go take pictures of all the apartments on our street, link it to GPS, and then when, the, when our buddies who want to rent an apartment type in an address, they can actually look at the apartment so they can don't have to leave their dorm room to find out if they want to rent an apartment. So here are these two Caltech students got a provisional patent. They spent $110 for the very simple concept of linking GPS data to, to, um, to photographs of streets, street view. So now Google comes out a few years later and now is in violation, if you will, of uh, this provisional patent these two students spent $110 getting. So here they had this awesome idea that they spent $110 and they're now in line to make zillions of dollars from Google by Google licensing the, the patent, their patented idea, their inventive idea. So your invention has a lot of value. Um, the difficulty you may have is, well, how do I sell it? Once you get uh, your inventive idea protected and it looks like it's a viable idea, the reason for a provisional patent application is to put your uh, initial mark on the, on the date of your inventive idea so that you can have um, 
one year, which is now, as of December 8th, 2010, two years to, to convert your provisional patent to a non-provisional patent, which is a real patent, if you will. The reason that the patent office gives you one year or two years is so that you don't have to spend the money to file a patent or get an attorney. What you would do in the time between now and one year or two years is find somebody who would pay or fund your fund your project. So go ahead and and uh, get a provisional patent application filed for your inventive idea. Um, if you don't want to do that now, just send this and fill out your name down here and all that good stuff and see what goes. And certainly um, get this NDA, a non-disclosure agreement, um, and uh, have people sign that when you, when you share your inventive idea. So thanks for watching. And again, if you're on Google, click on the little chevron down here. Or if you're not on Google, double click this video and you'll get the link to where you can, um, you can fill out this information here and if you want to buy it here. So thank you very much and hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.